This is not a video where you'll see 30 different outfits in every style imaginable. I used to do those, but not anymore. Because frankly, I don't have 30 outfits in me. At least not 30 widely different ones. Because I've cut down a lot on my wardrobe and refined my style to fewer, but better quality and versatile pieces. I'm talking heavyweight wools, brush cottons, cashmeres, all in a sea of neutral tones. So if you too are on that same wavelength of quality staples, neutrals, and relaxed silhouettes, then welcome home, my friend. This video is for you. Here are 10 fall winter outfits for the minimalists and the quiet luxury lovers. You know I love a monochrome outfit, and grey has got to be one of the best colors for it. It feels classy, muted, cozy, everything you want in fall. And this outfit is all about texture, with the wool trousers, the scarf, and the cashmere wool blended knit. The white sneakers help anchor down this hefty cluster of grey, and if it gets colder, I would add a structured coat on top. By the way, I know many of you often ask which items I wear, so all of the outfits shown will be linked in the description. Brown the quintessential fall color. This time we've got these massive cargo trousers from the Frankie shop nicely stacking on top of these Salomon sneakers, my latest white sneaker pickup. And yes, if you're wondering, I do have a very real white sneaker addiction. I know, not very minimalist of me, but the color palette is minimal. No one said the wardrobe was. Up top, we have a gorgeous lamb's wool knit from Studio Nicholson and this lovely snood. This is as close to a teddy bear disguise you can get. Okay, now for something a bit Bit more wearable that'll probably appeal to more people. Blue jeans, straight fit, that is a classic. Cream hoodie, black low tops to break it off, brown wool jacket to top it off. We got a simple everyday casual outfit with many different colors, but because they're all neutrals, the combo still works. It's easy on the eyes and easy to put together. Now for a slightly classier version of this. The black trousers smarten up the look, as do the black boots. The turtleneck is essentially the hoodie's more sophisticated cousin, and the more structured, tailored coat elevates the whole outfit. This is something I would wear when I want to be a little more elegant, a little sharper. The problem with wearing a suit during the fall winter season is it's not always the most functional with the weather. So what I do is layer underneath with Uniqlo's ultra warm heat tech. And the top actually has quite a nice fit so you can even wear it on its own if you wanted to. It's a perfect inner layer that keeps me super warm. The Amplice Isemiyaki suit in black has got to be my all time favorite. The texture just looks incredible and it gives that nice edge to your smart outfits. For outerwear I would definitely go with a long coat, for example this statement hounds tooth piece would work really well. This is for the ultra cozy days. Whether I'm just lounging around the house or going for a low key brunch or catching a flight, this is a comfortable fit that I can rely on. Speaking of reliability, beige and gray is a color combo that I've been enjoying quite a bit recently. Two soft neutral colors that complement each other seamlessly. This slightly cropped jacket from Wu Yung Mi is an absolute beauty and adds some visual interest to this otherwise plain monochrome outfit. Sometimes you're just unsure whether you want to look classy or street. And I'm here to tell you, you don't have to choose. I love the contrast between an elegant piece like the Issey Miyake on Plissé trousers and a louder streetwear item like this Represent Varsity jacket. Done well, I think combining different styles and levels of formality can look beautiful. This is the kind of outfit I would wear on a rainy Saturday when I've gotta go out, maybe I have errands to run, and I don't want to ruin a perfectly good pair of white sneakers or leather boots. We got the classic Bottega puddle boots, olive green jeans from the latest Uniqlo U collection, and my trusty Essentials fleece jacket worn on top of some cozy Studio Nicholson knitwear. Oh, and of course, a baseball cap for good measure. And before anyone comes for me, yes, I realize the fleece is not waterproof, and yes, I would still carry an umbrella. 
Sometimes you just gotta maximize warmth. And in those times, I like to default to the puffer jacket. I recently got my hands on this stellar puffer jacket from the Uniqlo U collection, and it's definitely become my go-to for the colder days. You can wear it with practically anything, but I often like to keep it simple with a monochromatic outfit. Here I'm wearing the Uniqlo pleated trousers, some white sneakers, and a Fear of God sweatshirt. Nothing brings me more confidence than a big coat. Don't ask me why, I'm not exactly sure, I just know that big coats make me look and feel great, so I wear them. Even with something as simple as straight fit blue jeans, some plain sneakers and a knit, a nice coat just makes everything look better. Alright guys, let me know which of these 10 outfits was your favorite. And actually, you can also tell me which one was your least favorite. Let me know in the comments, and as always, all of the outfits will be linked in the description. I wish you a beautiful day, my friends, and I will see you in the next one.